Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this quadrilateral A, B, C, D inside this circle such that uh, this uh, chord A, D is equal to this chord C, D and moreover, this angle O, A, D is 67 degrees and now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video, I'll share with you two different approaches to solve this given problem. So therefore, please watch this video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center O with this uh, vertex D. Let me go ahead and uh, connect uh, these points. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. Now we can see this uh, OA and OD are the radii of this uh, circle. So therefore, this side length is same as this side length. Therefore, this triangle AOD is an isosceles triangle. So therefore, these two angles are congruent, this angle and this angle. We know that this angle is 67 degrees. So this angle has got to be 67 degrees as well. And now let's recall triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of the interior angles in a triangle must be 180 degrees. We know that this angle is 67 degrees. This angle is 67 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 46 degrees. And if we add these three angles, they add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, our this angle AOD turns out to be 46 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with this uh, vertex C. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these two points. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. Now we can see that this chord AD and this chord CD are equal in length. And uh, for this chord AD, our angle with the center is 46 degrees. So since these chords are same, so this angle with the center has got to be 46 degrees as well. So therefore, our this angle COD is 46 degrees. And now let's recall straight angle property. That means the angle, the whole angle is 100 and 80 degrees and we know that this angle is 46 degrees this angle is 46 degrees we are going to calculate this angle now therefore this angle we can calculate we're going to say 180 degrees minus 46 degrees plus 46 degrees and if we simplify this thing we are going to get one in 180 degrees minus uh, that is going to give us uh, 92 degrees and if we simplify that thing that is going to give us 88 degrees so therefore this angle is going to be 88 degrees so therefore our this angle BOC turns out to be 88 degrees and now we can see that this OB and OC are the radii of this circle. So therefore, they are equal in length. Therefore, we conclude that this triangle BOC is an isosceles triangle. That means these two angles, this angle and this angle, they are congruent. If this angle is X, this angle has got to be x as well. Now let's recall triangle sum theorem once again. That means the sum of these three angles in this triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, let's go ahead and write down x plus x plus 88 must be equal to 180 degrees. So let me write down x plus angle x 
प्लस एटी एट डिग्रीज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्रीज प्लस कंबाइन द लाइक टर्म सो वी गॉट टू एक्स प्लस एटी एट डिग्रीज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी डिग्रीज प्लस को है एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट एटी एट डिग्रीज फ्रॉम बोथ साइड दिस इज गॉन सो वी एंडेड आउ विद टू एक्स इक्वल टू नाइन्टी टू डिग्रीज प्लस डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाई टू सो देर फोर आवर एंगल एक्स टर्न आउट टू बी फोर्टी सिक्स डिग्रीज सो देर फोर आवर दिस एंगल एक्स टर्न आउट टू बी फोर्टी सिक्स डिग्रीज एंड नाउ लेट मी शो यू द सेकेंड मैथड एंड नाउ लेट्स फोकस ऑन दिस ट्राइंगल सी ओ डी we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length these are the radii of this circle therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle and now let's recall triangle sum theorem once again the sum of these three angle must be equal to 180 degrees we know that this angle is 46 degrees so these two angles have got to be 67 degrees and 67 degrees as well so therefore this whole angle from here to here is going to be 67 plus 67 is going to make 134 degrees so therefore this whole angle adc turns out to be 134 degrees and now let's focus on this quadrilateral abcd it's a cyclic quadrilateral and here's the definition of a cyclic quadrilateral if all the vertices of a quadrilateral lie on the circle in our case all these vertices are indeed on the circle and moreover the opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees that means the sum of uh, this angle and this angle must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore our angle x plus uh, 134 degrees is going to be 180 degrees now let's go ahead and subtract 134 degrees from both side so our angle x turns out to be 46 degrees thus our angle x turns out to be 46 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye